What up, guys? What up, what up, what up? I'm just trying to get this stream situated so that way we can have the chat in the screen. Let's put my video on. What up, what up, what up? Today, we're going to be discussing the fall winter 2017 Supreme. And I think this drop is honestly really good. What up, what up, what up? Why haven't you uploaded? Check out my last video, don't worry. It's coming back soon. We just, we gotta get in some things. Let's get this chat going. Let me catch up with these chat. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Boom gang, what up, what up, what's Gucci? What up, Lost in Space? What up, Brendan, Jamil, Kane? What's good, what's good, what's good? All right, so let's just jump into it. Like I said, we're going to be discussing the fall winter 2017 releases. I think this season is honestly really good. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys feel. But basically, we're just going to discuss what's going on. So first, we're going to start off with this Sherling Bomber. As you guys see, it's the plaid fleece with the Sherpe fleece collar and trim. I personally, I don't really like this. I feel like it looks almost like a lumberjack. Let's see what other colors they have in it. They got the brown E. Even so, it's it doesn't... I'm not really feeling that too much. Probably going to be a slept on thing. This, I think, is pretty fire. We have the velvet trucker jacket. It's all embroidered with the satin linings, button, front closure, hand pockets. This looks really nice. Let's try to zoom in see the embroidery on it. I guess it's a heart with a sword going through it. It's so hard to look at it. Basic pink velvet trucker jacket. Oh, and then you see the inside lining is the same as that old jacket with the embroidery. What's good? What's good? What do you guys think about all these drops so far? Or not drops, but what do you guys think about this season so far? Again, the velvet jacket with the navy. All right, let's see. That 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 wasn't too hype. Let's see what this goes on. So you have the wool overcoat. It's like a trench coat style with the cheetah print all in the inner lining. Got the baby blue. This is probably going to be another slept on piece just because it's not hyped. There's a lot of hyped items in this drop. Like, it seems like Supreme is definitely looking at what's hype and what's in right now, and they're capitalizing on it. All right, let's check the next one. It seems like they're doing a lot of Sherpa, like a lot of like the sheep wool or whatever. That's fire with the embroidery on the back. They're doing a lot of Supreme branding on this drop. Got the red with the leather sleeves. That's probably going to be really expensive just with the leather. I feel like that's probably going to be a few hundred bucks at least. All black. What we got next? We got like this Digi Camo, which we've seen a lot before, but like the pink. The regular style bombing with the orange inner lining. It looks like it is reversible. Yeah, it is reversible with the orange What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. What are you guys waiting for? The army regular camo. They got the navy camo. And then the orange. I feel like that orange is just so plain. Like everyone does an orange inside on the bomber. Let's see what the comments are saying. Love your videos. I appreciate it. Make a thrift video soon. I definitely am the next day or so. Yeah, Lumberjack. That piece is a sleeper. The brown one looks awful. I agree. Get the North Face Supreme. I haven't seen, actually, the North Face Supreme, so let's see if we can find it. 2017 Supreme So Basic. I don't know. This, this drop or this season that's coming up, I feel like, isn't that basic. I feel like they're definitely, uh, like I said, they're like listening to people's hype because... Everything is huge branding. Everything is big, big embroidery. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how it goes. Then it seems like they're doing a lot of cheetah print. So we have the cheetah print zip up shirt, I guess. Even though it's like a hoodie, it's probably really thin. They're like a long sleeve shirt. 
This is nice. This almost reminds me of like the Louis Vuitton Supreme. We have the denim shirt with the Supreme like embossed really. I don't know if it's embossed, but it almost looks like it's heat stamped all over the shirt. I'm curious. Yeah, they are going to do different colors. That green is pretty crazy. I can see someone pulling that off, but I guarantee you the black is probably going to be sold out first, the blue, and then the green. Look at that. They're doing a lot of Gucci colorways too, the green and red, just because they noticed last season everything green and red sold out. So let's see. It says the best in the world on top, and then it has like Supreme Circle logos. Another plaid flannel, which another thing that's probably going to just sit on the website. This is pretty nice. We have the poly fleece with the quilted poly. So it has like the Sherpa sleeves with the quilted vest and then the hood. Let's see what colors are doing with that. We got the white, the forest green, pink, and black. Eh, that's not, I, I'm, I personally don't like that. Real tree camo. So I'm actually going to make a video on this. They're doing a bunch of real tree camo and I don't know how I feel about it. It depends on the price point on because I'll show you guys in the video. You can find real tree camo that doesn't say Supreme on it for literally dirt cheap. Like this, these three colorways, I guarantee you I can go to Bass Pro Shop right now and find them for $9 easily, $10. Especially down in Florida, we have so many of like that camo. Next, we have the hooded stripe denim zip up. You see it's like the vertical stripes with the gray hooded. I don't know how, let's see what other colors they have in that. Let's see, they have the baby blue, which the baby blue is pretty nice. The pink, you the pink you really can't tell the contrasting, then the black and the forest green. Let's uh, check the comments. Your vids are dope, hey, I appreciate it, Jacob. Where the BOGO hoodies, we're getting to that, don't worry. In my opinion, they could put a size six font on the says Supreme, put on the titty and sell out. Hey, they, that's true. Just like the small mini box logos, they'll sell out. The blue, yellow, black, so hard. All right, let's see, let's see. Then this, see again what I'm saying. They have a lot of big branding. Um, I'm not sure if, again, they're just following hype because everyone loves when it says Supreme in huge letters. But I notice a lot of pieces have Supreme and big brandings. So we have this art logo with the flannel. I'm wondering if that is screen printed or embroidered. It's probably going to be screen printed knowing them, but they have the yellow, the red, blue, and black. Next trip to the thrift will be, what's today? Today's Monday. Let's shoot for Wednesday. I'm going to try to do for that. I'm trying to get a car. I went yesterday to test drove a F-150 and right now I'm actually texting my dealer right now to see if, uh, See if I can get that. As soon as I get that, it's on, baby. It's on. We're doing trips to the thrifts every single day. So it seems like they have this heart shirt again in the long sleeve. If you guys remember, they had this in the jacket with all the embroidery. It's not too bad with the black and white. They're doing so many plaid. You guys realize that? Nah, not my weed dealer. My truck dealer. I'm trying to buy a truck. So you see all these flannel shirts. I'm not sure why they're doing flannel. Flannel is like going in like crazy. Then we have this waste work shirt. Waste, I'm guessing, is like a trash. I, I have no idea what their what their view or what their thing on this. And then we have Supreme embroidered above the left titty pocket. Got the orange, lavender, black, gray, and blue. What up, Danny? What up, Jimmy? What up, Julio? I appreciate it. Keep it up. Favorite color combo on the BOGOs? We're going to get to that soon. I personally love how they're doing all different colors on the BOGOs this season. Uh, that's something unique, something different. That you That's not just like the regular black or black regular red. Some things I am going to skip over like this plain flannel. No one really cares about this. I Actually, let's skip back to that. The pink isn't too bad. It's almost like that vintage... Uh, pastel colors, but the other two are just, I don't know. Pink and green reminds me of Tyler the Creator. Yeah, just because it's like that pastel, really light colorway. Hey, check your Snapchat. I will, I will. Not nah, half of them are trash. I don't know. I, I, I personally like it. Again, something simple, corduroy quilted shirt. Nothing really crazy going on. The inner lining is dope, but, you know, if, if it's cold, then 
I don't I don't know. All right, this I personally love. I think it's really crazy, but just the abstract of the flowers really like, I don't know, I really like this. Let's see what other colorways. Oh, they only have two colorways. Um, to be honest, I kind of like the second one, not the purple one, just because the purple one is very flamboyant and out there. I'm not sure how someone could really rock that, but uh, the other one is pretty sick. Danny, I bought a 50 cent Supreme Lantern at Ross and it was fake. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope I can get a BOGO for retail. Hey, if you can't, just make it, you know, $5. This is pretty nice. So we again, with the plaid, I'm not sure what Supreme is doing with all the plaid and all the flannel, but we have like this color blocking patchwork uh, plaid flannel shirt. Again, just a regular plain Oxford button down. Then we have this Supreme Embroidery. I'm not sure who that person is. It almost looks like, like the future from the TV show. And then as Supreme, you guys can roast me. I'm not, I'm not sure what they're doing. Supreme doing Tommy Hilfiger colors. Surprisingly, I think Supreme is copying more polo Ralph Lauren than Tommy Hilfiger. And I'll explain why with uh, the next couple pieces that I have. They're doing a lot of Indian heads. Okay, so this, what do you guys think about this? The Vance and Leather Jacket. If you guys remember last season or last year, they did the Vance and Leather Jacket. A lot of people slept on them. Then they resold for like two, dollars $3,000. I think the retail is about $1,000 on this. But uh, what do you guys think about this? Let's see what colors they have in this one. I like how it has Supreme on the inner lining. But then again, it's a jacket, motorcycle jacket. You're probably going to have it zipped up for most of the time. So... That's probably just flexing when you're at a bar or something, you know, you unzip it. But I do like the embroidery of all the skulls, especially the Supreme on the back sleeves. When you're riding a bike, that is going to be sick. <clears throat> the red, really nice colorway. The red will probably sell out the fastest if I had to guess. The red, black, and then the blue will be like the most slept on. Wow, they're even making chaps or like leather pants to match that. If somebody has that with the Supreme helmet, you are flex god. That is going to be so crazy. They're overpriced. They are overpriced. But I think Vance and leather jackets are extremely expensive by themselves. It's ugly to me. Low gang, a shout out, be a maverick. I have a ton of Supreme. Actually, the red one's nice. Yeah, I think the red one's definitely nice. But can you guys imagine wearing the full leather suit? I guarantee you that's going to be so hot. Oh, and then, of course, to match, you have the bicycle gloves or the motorcycle gloves. What's your favorite Supreme 2017 collection? Um, we'll probably get to that. I'm not sure. I think this season that's going to be coming up is definitely the best uh, this whole entire year so far. So next, we have a Supreme collab with Scott Fox Fur Peacoat. Is a custom fit fox fur coat pico with satin lining, double breasted, eight button closure with hand pockets at lower front and two interior chest. So I personally, I mean, I feel like this is like a pimp coat. Uh, let's see if there's any. Okay, there's nothing on the back. If you guys remember, they did the fox fur print uh, last year with the Supreme embroidered all in big. They did it in black and red. I personally like that a lot better than this. This is just like. Who's really going to rock this? It's really it's probably going to sit on the website and it's probably going to be very expensive. Uh, I got a Supreme Mike Hill tee today. I actually think the Mike Hill collab was very slept on. So The original color for Supreme is red and hype beast. Emilio, your merch in the future is going to sell at gotcha. Oh, just wait. I'm actually, I'll show you guys at the end of this. I'm, I'm working on something with my merch that's going to be totally different. All right, so moving on, you need to make merch. Don't worry. My merch is not going to have anything to do with my name or my company. So like everyone that, not to say everyone, but like all these YouTubers that have just their name on a t-shirt, it ain't going to be me. I'm going to actually start like a movement or a clothing brand if I can. Shout out Jamil. The pimp code is fire. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be slept on for sure. It's probably because, like I said, it's going to be very expensive. Next, we have the Fuck Puffy jacket. 
Uh, it's all woven jacquard poly blend with quilted down fill. So this is going to be a very heavy jacket if I had to guess and probably expensive, probably about at least a few hundred bucks. Let's see what other colorways I have. It's probably really comfortable though. And it really reminds me of the Ian Connor. If you guys uh, have seen his vest, it's like very similar. So they have in the navy, the pink. I'm guessing they probably have black. Yeah, all black, which that is like subtle. You know, if you want to cop it and you don't want your parents to realize what's on it, you definitely go and cop black. Did you see the idea some fans sent to Paul Cantu on his merch? It's so nice. The screen printing was like supreme. Yeah, I actually really like that. Um, but I've seen a couple other merch that are similar to that, so I definitely don't want to cop that or copy that. I want to try to make my own wave. So this I like. It's a dollar bill trucker jacket. I'm kind of curious to see if the dollar bills are all going to be like raised out of the jacket or if it's just going to be a smooth print. Let's see if it comes in any other colorways. It seems like this is like a gray or maybe like a money green. It's so hard to tell with this. If I had to guess. Okay, so they have the navy, which the navy I kind of like. I mess with that. It's like the Supreme Louis Vuitton colorway of the denim. Then the black, you can't even see that. I don't know why they would even make that. Unless if in person it's like really, like you can see it. It's pretty nice. This one's going to sell ASAP. I agree. I think that this one's really nice. Especially like I said, if... If the quality is there and the money is actually raised or you can feel it, I think that's going to be really nice. I think they're also releasing a money shirt. Oh, wow. I have to cop those. Wow. Those overalls are crazy. I'm definitely going to 100% cop those. If you guys don't know, you guys know that I really mess with overalls. I have about three pairs of Tommy ones. I might not show it on the vlog or like, Show up, but I do wear them a lot. I really mess with them, and I think I'm definitely going to have to cop these. Let's see. I think I'm going to have to do the blue and maybe the money green, but the blue 100%. The black one is just like really you can't, you can't see, but those blue ones are crazy. I'm definitely going to try to cop those. Hopefully, they're not too expensive, but I'm definitely going to try to grab those overalls. Those are crazy. All right, where are we off next? All right, next we have this pit crew jacket with like the maroon and the white stripe. On the right chest, it says our policy. Uh, it says Supreme Products. Uh, thank you for your business. And I can't read the other two lines. Let's see if maybe there's a close-up. No, but the inside is like a fake fur, which is probably going to be very, very warm. And it's almost like that coach style. If you, if you see in the back how it has like those pull strings. At least that's how I, I see it, like a coach jacket style. You have the typical brown with the American USA flag on the patch. You have the light blue, the black with the orange. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really feeling that. I feel like that's going to be slept on as well. Then we have, I believe this is the, Arab, yeah, the Arabic logo coach jackets. I, it seems like they're re-releasing the Arabic uh, box logo or like not box logo, but the Hooded sweatshirt. I saw a couple leaks on that. We'll see coming up to it. But coach jackets, I always love. And then it has the fur lining, so it is going to be warm. Whole lot of gang shit, boot gang. Then we have the Arabic logo on the back. Let's see what colorways they're going to do. So we have the lime green, which this lime green is actually really hyped just because of the BOGO, I think. Little Yachty Warren, and everyone wants that colorway now. We have the blue, the black. The red. Okay, so that's the only ones. If I had to guess, the black, the red, and the volt will sell out the fastest. The brown and the blue will sit. All right, let's see what we got next. And by the way, I'm doing a live video of this just because, I don't know, I feel like it's easier to make a little discussion. Uh, this will be on my YouTube. So if you guys are watching this and it's not a live stream, I hope you guys enjoy it. Something different. I know Jacob Starr and Sleepy usually do this. They're probably filming this as we speak. But I figured, you know what, let me just come on and do a live stream, kind of discuss it. I don't want to really make a video about it, but let's make a live stream about it. So next we have this license plate puffy jacket, which I, perf I personally love. Uh, I think the license plate is a really sick idea, especially with the New York license plates missing with the Supreme. Let's see what colorways they have, though, because the orange I'm not really feeling. Let's see what colorways they have. Okay, so they have the navy or the blue, the white, which the white would get so dirty fast, and the black. 
I feel like the black is going to be the first one to sell out if I had to guess, then followed by the blue, then maybe white and orange. Again, this is just my personal opinions. It could be absolutely wrong, but I figured let's go. So next we have a reflective sleeve puffy logo jacket. So as you guys see, it has a ribbon going down both arms, 3M reflective. It says Supreme on the sides with this yellow. Let's see what other colors it comes in. Oh, okay. Also, it has the Supreme going around the black with the 3M as well. Just that little subtle flex. North Face Supreme is bomb. Let's see. Let's see. We'll have to wait and see before we get to it. Okay, so we have the silver Michelin men, the yellow, the black, and the red. If I had to guess, the black and the red is going to be the most caught or the most sought out for. Maybe the silver too, if people are just acting wild and want to get that. All right, let's see where we are next. We have the tape seam jacket, waterproof, be breathable, nylon three-layer shell with the backing taped and seams, 3M reflective logos on the chest. So this is going to be good for waterproof material, something light, has Supreme on the back. Not too much, but people know that you are flexing. Not liking this collection so far. Wait, we haven't got to the fire pieces, or at least the pieces that I think that is good. We're just getting through the first couple pieces. I'm doing everything in order. So we'll kind of skip through it. The red, black. I think the things that will sell fast are the red and the green, if I had to guess. Maybe the black, but the black is just so plain. It does come with the matching pants. With these pants, will probably sell out quicker than the jacket just because track pants or ribbon pants are definitely in fashion these days. So we have the tape seam so you can cuff them at the bottom. Yeah, that, that track seat is going to be fire. That, that's definitely going to sell out. Then again, we have the leopard. I've seen a lot of leopard, a lot of plaid, and a lot of uh, – what else were they doing? Plaid and, and leopard, yeah, for sure. Grabbing those pants and jacket to match, yeah. So this is a reversible? No, it's not reversible. Okay, it's one. Oh yeah, it is reversible. So you have the, the leopard print on one side and then you have the black on the other. I personally think the red is crazy. They're actually making fanny packs in the same material like the fleece Sherpa style and I think that is really sick. I like this red one. I'm messing with this red one definitely. The black one, eh. I think the red one, the teal isn't too bad, but I think the red one is definitely going to be the most hyped out of that. What do we got next? We are... Did I miss this one? Next, okay, this is another Supreme leather jacket. I think this is going to be very expensive for retail and resale. Was Good ZF Productions... Can I promote my Snapchat? I mean, you can put it on chat. So this leather jacket has like the tassels hanging down at the back, which I personally am not a fan of. I feel like tassels remind me of a little kid with their furly like little girly bike with the tassels hanging down. You guys might think differently. On the back, we have a huge Indian head embroidery, and this is where I kind of get into their copying Polo Ralph Lauren. If you guys are familiar, Polo Ralph Lauren does Indian heads a lot, and I feel like they definitely – got inspiration from that has the maroon colorway with the again i don't know why they're doing so much leopard they're doing a lot of leopard and a lot of plaid the indian passion looks ill it does look sick but you already know that jacket's gonna be so expensive probably gonna be a thousand dollars and then resale is probably gonna be two bands there's another indian patch though that is even sicker that should be coming up Okay, so this is kind of unique. We have the blood and semen hooded sweatshirt, which I don't know. You would think that Supreme would kind of be kid friendly, but the fact that they're doing blood and semen is like, I don't know. I don't know how parents are going to agree with that. But then again, there's a lot of F words on Supreme. My MacBook is going to die, so let me plug that in real fast. Okay, so what do you guys think about this blood and semen? I, 
I don't know what to think. At first, before I read the name, I would never think that that's actually blood and semen. It almost looks like a galaxy, like a Mars almost like, if you guys know what I mean. Let's see what other colorways they have. So they have the black. Season was trash. No, nah, we're, we're just getting up to the good stuff. Don't worry. I thought this was nice in fact that it was white as semen. Yeah, I know. I don't know how people are going to be fond of wearing blood and semen. This isn't too bad, but I feel like it's kind of lazy. We just have the split Old English, which I'm a really big fan of Old English as well as a lot of other people. They love that embroidery on there. But the fact that it's just a stripe of pink, I personally don't think that it's going to be hyped or anything like anything worth really looking at. What up from Dubai? It looks like spaghetti with hella water. Yeah, it really does. Okay, so with this uh, with this fleece, we have the black brown. It looks like green and purple, which the green and purple, I, I kind of mess with. I really like that. It seems like the light baby blue and yellow is going to be nice too. Then we have the patent leather arc logo hooded sweatshirt. Again, Supreme is doing a lot of big embroidery and big patches. They're doing a lot of big branding this season. So we have the red, the white, the navy, the green, and black. That blood come hood will be the first to sell out. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Seam will sell out because people are gay. <laughs> Next, we have the embroidered brush logo hooded, which I personally like this because if you guys, I don't know, if, let's see if we can zoom in. We really can't, but inside, it's almost like, it looks like a Kuji sweater because of all the different colors. It's hard to really see, but it really looks like a Kuji sweater. So it gives like that retro. And the fact that it says 2017, I guarantee you that's going to be a piece that's going to sell it instantly and people are going to hold on to it for like 20 years from now and then they'll, they'll have it out. So this is kind of new for Supreme. I've never seen a hoodie that has multiple screen prints like this. I'm not sure how I think about it. It says Menin, Menins, Menins. I'm so bad at pronouncing words. But I'm not really sure what's going on with this hoodie. I don't know if it's a collab with somebody. But I think it's kind of lazy. It's just a regular hoodie with a couple screen printing on the sleeves. Next, we have the circus hoodie. This will be another sought out off. I think anything that has Supreme, like in big bold letters, will definitely sell out. Let's see what colorways they have. They have the red, the gray, brown, blue, orange, and black. I would buy to resale. Yeah, this, this season's going to be good for resale. Especially on the accessories. Wait till we get to the accessories. We haven't even got to the good stuff. Next, we have this handcuff hooded sweatshirt. A basic Supreme embroidery in Old English on the left titty with all handcuffs. Let's see what colorways they have in it. The pink and white isn't too bad. Uh, black and white and then the the green, the simple, simple compact logo hooded, which this right here, like I guarantee you this is going to be $140. It's going to resell just because it has a Supreme logo. Very, very small. I really like the cartoons on this way. On this one, this is the Gons Heads crew neck. So on the front, we have the four heads. On the back, we have the two heads. I really like the colors on this. Hey, bro, I'm from France. I see. I just see your video with Travis Scott. It's crazy. Next, Travis Scott in Europe. Yo, Travis Scott is honestly the best person live to watch. He is so crazy and so much energy. All right, so here we go for the main event. Everyone has been waiting for. Everyone is probably going to be obviously the most hyped ever. The Supreme Box logo hooded. We're going to discuss about this. What do you guys think about the colorways? It seems like it is a red on like an acid green, a black with either a yellow or acid green, a light blue with orange, a pink with green, a brown with teal, a red with purple, and then a gray with orange. My personal favorite, I think, is probably going to be the brown with the teal. I think that is pretty – I love teal and just the fact that you have that neutral – colorway with that I feel like it really brings it out but I don't know what do you guys think about these uh these colorways you know Supreme usually just does all red box logos all black box logos I'm not sure when's the last time they've ever released 
one, two, three, four, five, six different box logo colors. I think the most hype will definitely be the acid green with red, the red with purple, and the pink with green. I think those three will be the most hype. The red, the pink, and the acid green. But then again, all Supreme box logos, especially these, are going to be very, very hyped up. Let's see what people are saying in the chat. We have black and green. Colorways are best ever. Remind me of the early. No, I definitely agree. This is, which I'm kind of scared because I'm curious how much resale is going to be on these box logos. You know, hype is just continually going up. Do you think all these box logos are going to be like the sage and the peach ones that are going for 1000 to 1200 Do you think that they're going to only be 500 Do you think they're going to be 600 What do you guys think on that? I personally hate color brown on shirts, hooded pants. My favorite is black, pink, and baby blue. Gray and orange is a wave. Yeah, a lot of people, see, for just from $300 off tops, I feel like they're going to be closer to five to six. Just because of these colorways, like I said, they're crazy. It's not like they've released them before. I mean, they might have, but they're they're really old. Do you use bots? I've never used a bot before. I've had friends that have used bots and they work. I've had friends that have used bots and they don't work. All right, so moving on from the box logos, let's see what else they got because there's a, definitely a bunch of nice things we have this Gucci Inspire Gucci colorway striped crew neck cotton fleece. As you guys see, the green ribbing with the red stripe. Then it has like the UF, the Florida Gators colorways. I personally, out of all of them, yes, I do like the Gucci colorway, but I think that navy with like the peach and white, I think that's pretty nice. Calling it resale be five to six hundred. Yeah, I think even more. I think. I think a few of them will be like a thousand plus, just like the Supreme and uh, just like the Sage and Peach ones. Next, we have embossed logo hooded sweatshirt. So just a regular hooded with the uh, embossed on it. I feel like that's pretty. I don't know. I feel like it's basic. I think the nice colors are that seam foam green. Oh my gosh, Krispy Kreme colorway. Yay, it is Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme, Gucci. I feel like everyone's on that green and red wave for sure. Next, we have the Decline Hooded Sweatshirt. It's a decline of the Western civilization. Again, not a big fan. All the different colorways. Okay, so here we go again. The Arabic Logo Hooded Sweatshirt. I'm not sure what season this released, but obviously the hooded... Obviously, the Arabic logo has released before. So this season, they're doing the gray, the red, the brown, the like acid green, navy, orange, and, bl and black. My personal favorite is that green, the orange, and the red. Sorry, guys. I have hiccups. It sucks when you're doing a live video and you have hiccups. You can't just edit it out. You can't edit it out like you can in a regular video. What do you think about the Playboy knitted top? Once we get there, I will discuss about that. I think the best collab of this season is a Scarface collab, so don't worry. Wait till we get to that if you guys are watching. Or again, if you're not watching this live stream, I appreciate it. Uh, this will be on my YouTube channel as soon as I am done live streaming. Okay, so I'm kind of skipping over a few things. Like This is kind of basic. We have the Step Art Crew Neck, different colorways, the Seam Foam Blue, White, Brown, Black, Red, Orange, Pink, and Blue. It's nothing special at all. Oh, wow. They even have matching sweatpants for the blood and semen sweatpants. So now that I see that it's a like a full set, I think that it's definitely going to sell out. Did I show the Nas P? Yes. No, I have not. I have not showed any t-shirts yet. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. The acid green will sell out second. Real Supreme heads will know. Yeah. Anything acid green, like the crazy one. Arabic week, in my opinion. It's released before, so it's nothing super... But the blood and semen, I don't know. I feel like people are going to be rocking that like crazy. And people are going to really know what it is. Let's move on from that. Okay, they have the, the other colors in it. The matching handcuffs. It seems like they're doing a lot of matching sets with the pants and the jackets. Which, again, is it's in fashion. It's hyped up. A lot of people are doing the, what do you call it? The full track shoots. That's so gross. Have you got a bot? I've never used a bot. 
All right, where we are next, we are right here. Okay, so we have this shit sweater in the cotton blend. Uh, it seems like it's all knitted, if I had to guess, just by looking at it. Shit with the tongue sticking out. Let's see what colorways. Okay, they only have the black and orange. ASAP Rocky wore some crazy things. Has Supreme ever did a runway? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think they've ever been on a fashion show. Next, we have a leather front polo sweater. Again, very basic, very something that's going to sit on the website probably for multiple weeks. This, another hype thing. Anything that has a lot of Supreme or big logo branding will sell out fast just because you got to know that you're flexing. This will definitely sell out fast. So we have the repeat. Let's see what colorways are coming in. So we have the red, the black, and then the white with like the yellow. My personal favorite is probably the black. Just keep it simple. Uh, if you're going to go really crazy, then maybe the red. Next, we have the Love Supreme, which again, very simple. Just Love Supreme. The green and red, that's another Gucci way colorway that's going to sell out fast. The other ones might sit a little bit, but then again, it does say Supreme on the front. And like I said, embroidery is everything. This I'm not a fan of. We have the ombre striped sweater. It's like the acrylic blend. It just looks like a knitted, very heavy, very itchy sweater. That's just my opinion. Okay, getting into the Scarface. I personally think that the Scarface Supreme collab is probably one of the best collabs they're doing this season. Uh, some might think it's basic, but I really mess with Scarface. I kind of grew up, not grew up around that, but growing up watching it. Obviously me living in Miami, Scarface, Miami, it kind of goes all together. When's the first time you bought Supreme or wore Supreme? Uh, 2011, I bought a t-shirt. Next, we have a cashmere sweaters in the black, orange, maroon, brown, and navy. Very simple, but cashmere is super, super soft. It's probably going to be very expensive as well. Okay, I think somebody asked about this. We have a Supreme Playboy collar full zip-up sweater. Have you ever played the game? What game? Uh, out of the Supreme Playboy collabs, I'm not a fan of this one just because it is a shawl color like knitted sweater. I'm not a fan of knitted stuff. But that back logo, it is nice. It reminds me of like vintage big logo Playboy Bunny. All right, let's see what we got next. So this camo, if you guys know anything about the Rothko camo, this camo right here, it's very similar. It's almost like it, they copied it. I don't think Rothko makes that exact colorway with the yellow and the green. I think it's yellow and the white, but it, it looks just like that. As Supreme at the top of the hood. Let's see. How's it going, Jennifer? How's it going, Kaden? Captain, Captain's in the background right now. He's actually just trying to get some water. I need to give him some water. Okay, so they're coming in. I personally think the camo is the most fire though, but um, I don't know. Yeah, camo's played out. I know after V loan, everyone's like kind of over that. It's if they were to release that maybe a year ago, it would have been super fire. But I think it's kind of ridden the wave too far. What up? Greetings from Germany. All right, so next we have a contrast stitch pullover, water-resistant nylon with fill. Eh, again, not a big fan. Just a Supreme. Actually, that will sell out just because it has a Supreme box logo right up front, all embroidered. Let's see what colorways they're coming in. That, like, fuchsia pink. The bright, bright orange. Black. Material looks horrible. It does look almost like a trash bag, but the fact that it has that box logo stitched, you know that that's gonna be all hyped. Okay, well, another personal favorite of mine. I really like the hockey jerseys and the colorway that they're doing. This is a hockey pullover, so it's like a hockey jacket. And like again, the Gucci colorway. You have the forest green with the red with the black contrasting. I personally really like this. Is there anything on the back? Let's see. Okay, it comes in the blue colorway. 
the white with orange and black, the black with gray. I personally think that the forest green will sell out the fastest, then the black and gray, then the white, and then the blue. But again, anything Gucci, green, and red sells out ridiculous. Okay, so we have a packable pullover, water-resistant nylon ripstop with half zip closure in front pocket, 3M reflective print on the front. Again, something very similar like a rain jacket. It's going to be super light, you know, almost like a parka. You have the 3M screen printing on the back and on the front, just very basic. I do like that color green, though. I think that green is really nice. Uh, the pink is too bright, and then the black, yeah, white, and navy is very, uh, very plain. You know, green and red, the new wave, as long as it's suited Gucci, no longer Christmas color way. Yeah, 1,000%. It's kind of funny how everyone used to make fun of that, and now it is Gucci. Okay, so here's what it looks like once it's packed up. So you can almost have it as like a fanny bag, um, but I don't think you can actually use it as a fanny bag just because the jacket is inside the bag, so I don't know how you would be able to add more things into it. Of course, they have the matching pants. They're doing a lot of matching tops and pants this season, I've noticed. Full track suits. All right, so let's go on to the next one. Another dope, dope hockey. This is the jersey, not the jacket. So you have the Supreme and the gold. Again, the Gucci green and red. And I say it's Gucci green and red because look at the green. Like the green is very... Hold on, let me see if I can find. The green is very like, if you notice, Gucci green is like that forest green. Christmas green is almost more of like the lighter green. So I feel like that is definitely Gucci inspired. Let's see what other, okay, they have number 19 on the back. It would be dope if they had Supreme again on the back. So let's see what colorways they have. The maroon, the white with like the peach. The cobalt blue, black, and maroon, the Gucci, and then the white, the acid green with the navy. Vertical striped crew neck. Um, nothing special, you know, just Supreme New York embroidered, but eh. This should have had 94 in the back, I agree. Or even like 17 just to have um, the year that it released. I feel like that would be dope. Again, look at how many colorways that we're going to see of the green and red. As you see, this green is a little bit lighter, so this one going to kind of fall under Christmas green and red. But again, they're trying that Gucci green and red. Hey, I love your channel. appreciate you. So the green and red, again, another thing that's going to just sell out. Okay, getting into the Scarface again. So we have the Scarface hockey jersey and the triple white. And then we have the bread colorway, the black, red, and white, all embroidered Scarface on the front with a three on the right and an eight on the left. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Okay, that is dope. We have Montana in 83. Now I'm going to look up. I'm kind of curious when did Scarface come out? Did it come out in 1983? Scarface, the movie release. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so Scarface did release on December 9th, 1983, which is why they have eight on the right sleeve, three on the left sleeve, and then 83 on the back to give memory to when the movie actually released. Could you answer me on Instagram, please? I will once I uh, finish this live stream. I will check your Instagram. I got you, my dude. Next, we have the Supreme Playboy Rugby. I'm not a big fan of rugby's. Um, I know a lot of people are, or some people are at least. I just don't like the collar. I feel like it's too restricting and just not my style. I'm more of the laid back, t-shirt wearing, none of that vibe. Let's see what other colorways they have. That teal and blue. That teal and blue is very vintage inspired, vintage look. I feel like I see that those colors in the thrift store every single day. Uh, the white and yellow, you're looking like a taxi cab. Orange and maroon, and then the black and gray. They should have put Miami area in the code and palm trees. That would have been dope for sure. Next, I really, 
really like this. I think I might. I don't wear baseball jerseys very often. Actually, I don't think I wear them at all. But I think I'm definitely going to have to cop this for personal. As you guys see, this is the snake skin baseball jersey. And I've actually seen on Instagram before, there's people that make these custom jerseys that will get legit snake skin and put them on any jersey you want. Let's see what colorways are coming in. Oh, of course, you already know they're doing that forest green. I am definitely going to have to try to snag that. It's probably going to be pretty expensive and it's probably going to sell out within minutes. But I need to try to get that. That is just super fire in my opinion. Again, the black and red, very simple colorway. I feel like a lot of people wear that in the club. The white is just like a summer vibe and the pink, you know, for those ladies or for the guys that want to flex. Then we have the Glitter Arc football top. I'm not really a big fan of football shirts, um, especially with the V-neck. It's just not my style. Let's see what colorways. They have the brown, the white, the green, the blue, the navy, the red, and black. Next, we have the Hooded Waffle Ringer. Again, something I'm not really a fan of. I don't really like how they just add hoodies onto like crewnecks like that. The camo colorway is pretty fire, though, with the red supreme embroidered across. When will be the next release? I think the 24th will be the first online release of this season. Then we have a world-famous half pullover. Very simple, just world-famous supreme on the zipper. Once you have it unzipped, you can't read it, though, so it's kind of, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense. Next, we have the Polar Tech pullover shirts just a pullover pocket shirt with supreme embroidered on the pocket very very simple let's see what colorways they have in this one the orange black pink navy and acid green reflective long sleeve top so it has a 3m this is actually pretty nice the 3m embroidered supreme it's probably gonna be like a hundred dollars though or 88 dollars and then the colorways that they have is really nice they have the navy green the pink purple the yellow, which yellow is my personal favorite, orange, red, and then the solid colors, the white, black, and gray. Two-tone Henley. I really like how they did it embroidered on the back. It's very subtle, though. Just with that, I think that if they would have maybe done that in a different color, like white to contrast the front with the white stitching, but they probably just did it for low-key low stunting. The colors that come in, they got the gray with the red, the NYX colorways, the white and green, black, pink, and navy, and then the teal with purple, which I personally like the teal with purple the best. Hello from Spain. Thank you so much. I wish Supreme had a store in Houston or Dallas. I know. You would think that Supreme would have a store like in every single state because they know that it would easily sell out. Another shirt that I personally like, the Dotted Arc logo top. With the Supreme, I like the color contrasting they did with the yellow around the red lettering. I think it looks really nice. Let's see what colorways they have in this. A bunch of colorways again. The gray, the lavender, the yellow, the navy, the white, green, the teal, black, and red. Very simple athletic label. Long sleeve just with Supreme and the L on it. Super simple stuff. The Champion Supreme collab this season or this upcoming releases I think is really nice. The Stack C's and then the Supreme on the sleeve. I wish they would have done the Supreme on the sleeve embroidered like the Champion. It is screen printed from the looks of it, but you can't really complain. Multiple colorways. And if you notice, like how you can see on the brown, is the Champion Stack logos are going to be different colorways. So I think that's going to be pretty nice. All right, let's see. Let's go back now. There's a bunch of stuff. Again, with the Sherpa. So they're doing a lot of Sherpa, they're doing a lot of plaid, and they're doing a lot of leopard, I've noticed, for this Supreme season. Uh, it is reversible, it looks like, with a camo inside. Yeah, and what does it say? It has some kind of embroidered on the camo side. It says, leave me alone, which, hey, that that's perfect. That's honestly, that's pretty nice. I like that.
Then it comes in the black colorway. Very simple, leave me alone again. The navy colorway. I think the camel will definitely be the first one to sell out. Then what do we got next? What do we got next? I personally really like this one, the patchwork hooded sweatshirt. I'm not a fan of this colorway, but if we go on to the next slide, that first one with the like the pink, the olive green, the purple, I really mess with that. And they're actually making matching pants. Like I said, they're doing a bunch of matching tops to pants, like full track suits. So that is definitely going to be something on my eye to cop. This is going to be very hyped up. Supreme and huge logo. It's actually front and back, which is pretty insane that they did double branding. That's going to be super hype. Probably instantly sell out. My personal favorite, I love the yellow. The red and white will probably be the first one to sell out just because it is the natural Supreme colorways. Then we have the black and white, baby blue, yellow. It seems like that's like a olive green and then like a navy. I really like that yellow though. Then we have this centerpiece hoodie. Centerpiece, obviously you could just think of the name. It's like a centerpiece, like if you're sitting at home, you have a flower centerpiece and you're eating. So that's the reason why they have the flowers. It looks like it is all embroidered, which if it is, that's really nice from them. Uh, let's see what colors they have. Supreme drops again the 24th online. I think the week before they're going to do an in-store and then the 24th they are dropping online. Okay, so getting into like the most hype besides the box logos, I feel like this Scarface leather jacket is going to be one of the most sought out pieces and most expensive pieces of the season. Retail, if I had to guess, it's probably going to be close to a thousand plus. Resale is probably going to be close to three thousand dollars if I had to personally guess. And the reason is, is wait till you see the back of this. Look how crazy that Supreme embroidery is. So you have Scarface holding a gun on the right, and then you have Supreme in huge, huge, all cut and sew leather patches on the left, which I personally is just, I think that is so crazy. That's so fire, so fire. Again, very expensive piece, probably going to retail at 1000 and go upwards to 3000 resale. Not sure if they're making any other colorways. Again, Scarface, the world is yours, denim jackets. I personally don't really like this jacket, but they are making matching pants that we should see in the next slide or two. That is absolutely insane. So you have the back of the Scarface jacket. Here are the matching Scarface pants. The world is yours. It is all denim with this print. I will probably try to cop this for personal. I'm not going to try to cop the full set. But I will try to copy these. I think that any kind of denim that has these crazy wild prints is just super unique, super different. You know, you're not going to see anyone wearing these unless they cop the same ones. But denim usually doesn't print like that. And here's the back side of them. Insane man. The Scarface game is a classic. Yeah, for sure. Now getting into a couple t-shirts. So we have this kiss tee, which is kind of strange. It's a guy and girl kissing and then girls holding each other's vaginas, which is, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Next shirt we have Supreme Fuck With Your Head, which it seems like it's like a go-go dancer with like those big palm fronds. It's so hard to see what it is. Then we have this DNA, which I think is pretty weak. It's like uh, just the Supreme is kind of cool how they did it in different colorways, but the DNA on top looks very kid and childish. I personally don't like. Then we have the Venus T with Supreme. And then on the back, it has made possible with your support. Nasty Nas. What do you guys think about this shirt? This is the, dropping the first week. I personally am not a big fan of Nas. I will obviously try to get it for resale, but I'm not going to try to cop it for personal. Uh, I think that they should have not done the nasty Nas on the front. I would have liked to see it on the back. I like Supreme with just the regular pictures, 
on the front with no writing on the front. If you guys remember, the Gucci had just the Pritchard on the front and on the back it had Trap God 1017 with his signature. So I think the Nasty Nas, they should have put that on the back. But let's see what colorways... Oh, they're not going to show the colorways. I'm curious to see what colorways they're going to release in that for sure. Next, we have the Gon's Head tee, which Mark Gonzalez is a skateboarder. He's going to be doing a collab with them. Instant sellout. I'm loving this tee. Yeah, a lot of people like it. My personal favorite, which I'm going to try to... Not a personal favorite, but I definitely like this shirt, is this dollar bill. It says one zillion. This is going to be another shirt that's going to be releasing the first week in multiple colorways. I'm definitely going to try to cop this. I just like it. You know, you have a dollar bill on your shirt. At the end of the day, we all need a dollar and a dream. So I'm loving this tee. Only read the title, but best season. To be honest, I think this is a much better season than last season. Um, we're not even halfway done, and we've already seen a lot of fire pieces. Next, we have the Fuck the Love shirt. So we have the grandma, the cat, the police, and like the hitchhiker. Another shirt that I like is this Crash Tee. On the front is just plain, but on the back we have Supreme with the car on fire going through it. Next, we have the Bloom Long Sleeve Tee. Again, very simple. It has like that Hawaiian theme on this acid green. Obviously, they're going to have multiple colorways, but I don't know. I just think it's very basic. Another thing that I think that they're copying Polar Ralph Lauren is this jacket. It has like that Aztec type look to it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to type in. Polo Ralph Lauren Aztec Jacket. So let me see if I can find one similar. They they definitely got inspiration, I feel like, from this. This one right here is very similar. So this is the one that Supreme is releasing. And this is Polo Ralph Lauren. Tell me they didn't copy Polo with this. That's why I think that they definitely copied Polo with this jacket, the Indian head, and a few others. But look at that. That's the Polo Ralph Lauren. And this is the Supreme. Come on, guys. They obviously copied that. They had to copy that. There's no way that they saw that and was like, oh, I'm just gonna make this. So moving on, it has Supreme on the left sleeve. Let's see what colorways are doing in this. Just the brown, okay, I have the brown, the orange. It seems like they're only doing the brown Aztec print though. Everything else is gonna be a solid colorway. Another Gons Ram Varsity jacket. So it has like the wool on the chest and then leather sleeves. And then Supreme on the back with the Gons. Got the navy, red, white, and I'm guessing they probably, yeah, black just to sum it all up. Next, we have the Stadium Parka, water-resistant nylon tassel on with quilted poly lining. Again, very, very simple. Um, probably going to sit on the website for sure. Just says, oh, actually, now that I saw that, that's definitely not going to sit. You have a huge Supreme Box logo stitched on the back. Just because of that, that is instantly going to sell out. Let's see what other colorways they have. They have the white with the black BOGO. The black, let's hope they have a red. Damn, they only have a black. If they would have done a red box logo on this, I feel like that would have really popped and stood out. But you can't, you know, it is still really nice. Again, see, they're doing a lot of big embroidered and a lot of big branding. We have the Arc Track Jacket, water resistant with Supreme on the back in navy with white lettering. Comes in white, navy, fuchsia, and black. 
I really like the navy with the lime green, though. Obviously, the white and red is a supreme colorway, so that's probably going to sell it the fastest. But the navy and green does look nice. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next, we have the Supreme Playboy Wool Varsity Jacket. I like it. I mean, I think it's kind of unique how they incorporated the Playboy with the Supreme embroidered. But it's probably not my favorite. Let's see what colorways they have. They have the brown, the baby blue, the black. So that's a yeah. I'm not really a big fan of that. Next, we have the Chief Harrington Jacket. Again, very, very simple jacket with Supreme embroidered on the left. Again, back to the Polo Ralph Lauren copying the Indian head with a huge Indian head patch on the back. I really like that, but again, they are copying. Comes in the white, navy, then the black. Next, we have some zigzag beanies. I personally don't like it. I don't like how they did the graffiti font. And then the zigzags just kind of give me a headache. I would never put that on my head. They have a leaf beanie. And that's not too bad. They have the 94s up top and then the Supreme with the crazy, looks like fire going around it. Got the I Love New York, which I don't know how I feel about that again. That's something I feel like you see something on the streets of New York for like $2 a dollar. Doesn't really show Supreme too much on it. A thing that I think again is so crazy and fire how they did the snake skin on the script, the beanie. So that's how they're going to match with the baseball jersey snake skin. The Gonzalez beanie, again, nothing really crazy. Repeat beanie, you guys saw they did a sweater of that. Fox logo beanie, of course, I'll be very, very hyped. And I'm surprised, what do you guys think about this? They matched the box logo hoodies to the actual beanies, which I think is sick because that's going to be a dope outfit if you can acquire both of them. Now, if you can't, then I'm sorry, but these will definitely be a high resale. If I had to guess, a normal box logo would probably, Beanie would probably resell for 100 These will probably go for 250 if I had to guess. Maybe 200 Then we have a centerpiece Beanie. Again, plain. I don't really care for that. Southwest Beanie with the Supreme logo. Eh, nothing special. Two-tone rib beanie. Mm. Yeah, these beanies are pretty whack in my opinion. It seems like they're doing a lot. The sequence beanie, I feel like that's just girly. Had their loose gauge, so small box logo kind of. Eh, subtle flex. I like these just because of the colorways. I think that red one is really sick. Uh, Supreme all embroidered up top. Then we have the S logo beanies. Playboy bunny beanies. All right, we're just going to skip out of the beanies because to be honest I could kind of care less about beanies all right getting back into it we have the reflective cross with like the fur up top looks like it has 3m stripes on the sleeves orange interlaying with the 3m cross on the back and then the embroidery on the hood that says fuck them all it's okay I'm not sure if they're trying to like if it's trying to be religious with the cross or they're trying to talk bad about the cross i'm not too sure forest green 
black and then that mustard colorway. Again, the like the the crazy plaid or flannel colorway, the yellow, all quilted. Then we have the green and the black, red. Eh, nothing special. Moving on, we have the Polar Tech hooded half zip pullover. Again, it kind of looks like Sherpa in my opinion, and they're doing a lot of that this season, so I'm not really digging this too much. Comes in the white, the peach, acid green, navy, red, and black. With the deep pile sweatpants, so they're matching sweatpants. Again, track pants and track suits are doing a lot of it this season. Harrington jacket, just a plain jacket, nothing too special. Okay, moving on. We have the Pledge's Allegiance six panel hat. The nylon, which again, they're matching the jackets. They're matching a lot of jackets to hats this season rather than just making crazy ones. So we have the Global Corduroy six panel. The Supreme Survival. Eh. I'm not a big fan of hats and beanies. I mean, I used to when my hair was long, but now since I have short hair, I don't really need it. Is it hard to cop Supreme on the website? Yes, it is very hard to cop Supreme on the website, especially on the hype items. Again, matching the Jacquard jacket. Gons Rams. All right, we're not going to go through all the hats. I feel like the hats are, it's nothing really special about that. All right, kind of moving on to the accessories, which I think accessories are probably the best thing that is going to be releasing or a few items in here at least so we have this backpack and it seems like it's 3m reflective with a box logo it has supreme 3m reflective on the top as well comes in that teal green black red and white then we have the matching duffel bag same colors then we have the waist bag same thing as it seems like it's very like a waterproof material it's very Water resistant, it looks like. It does have Supreme and 3M on the bottom of the waist bag, which I don't know why you would have it on the bottom. You can't really see it. The shoulder bag, laminated rip stop. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely going to be waterproof for sure. I'm not sure how I feel about that though. I think the shoulder bags could have been a little bit better. Back to the Leopard. They're going the Supreme backpack as well as matching waist bags which I'm going to try to cop the fleece waist bag, probably in the red colorway. If you guys know, you know that I love waist bags, and uh, they're always handy when I go thrifting. Is this another thing of hats? If it is, we're just going to skip across it. Yeah, it is. Because I'm not really concerned about the hats. I feel like it's pretty bad. Okay, so as we saw, we have the hearts all embroidered work pants to match the jacket as well as the long sleeve shirt. All matching cargo, the digi camo pants. I feel like almost every single pants, they're matching a top this season. Usually they don't do that. But a lot of them are matching. Corduroy work pants. The plaid, which I don't know why everyone would want to wear these. These things are crazy, crazy. <clears throat> these aren't that bad, but again, it kind of reminds me of back to the Rothko camo pants. It just has Supreme at the bottom. Not too much, but I guarantee you for the price, it's probably not going to be worth it. Real tree camo pants. 
Again, I'm gonna do a video on these just because I'm gonna show you guys how you can cop literally the same exact pants for next to nothing and Supreme is just making it. It's kind of funny. I really like these. The Michelangelo paint pants. Those look sick. Especially in the green. The green and the navy is crazy. All, all these colorways is pretty sick actually. See what we got next. Then we have some velour warm up track pants. Velour is obviously that's super soft. Supreme Playboy waffle thermal pants. Baby blue, the white with the red, and the black and the white. The dagger pants. The wash denim overall. So if you guys have been watching from the beginning, you guys know that I already said I'm going to cop the money denim overalls. But look at these stripe ones. I, I actually really like those stripes. I'm not sure how it's going to be on body though. Stripes are kind of a hit or miss. But uh, I definitely love overalls. So maybe I might have to try to cop that. Then we have some Gonzalez painter pants. Nothing too crazy. Basic jeans. I like these. Uh, I might try to copy these actually just because they're kind of crazy. So we have the Supreme Gonzalez head shorts. Oh, all different colors too. That's dope. All right, kind of getting towards the end. We have three more things. We'll look at the accessories at the last. We have this Michelangelo long sleeve top. All different colorways. My personal favorite is the green. Next, we have the Paisley all over long sleeve polo. Again, if they would have done this on a t-shirt, I think it would have been a lot better. I'm not a big fan of polo, the collared shirts. Let's see what colorways they did it in though. That is, that looks like a grandma's couch. That is insane. Multicolor pipe crew neck, eh, very simple. Small box logo on this side. Velour long sleeve polo, again, it's probably really comfortable but not for me. The crew neck, very, very subtle, supreme in the white. This is pretty nice, velour half zip with the supreme all embroidered. Let's see what color is it come in. Got the purple with the gray. I really like that maroon with the nude. I think that's a really nice colorway. Then we have the divine long sleeve top. I like that acid green. That looks sick. Plaid again, back to plaid. They're doing so much plaid this season. Supreme USA. The best in the world long sleeve. Eh, nothing special to me. Logo stripe. Oh, that's actually dope. The pinstriping says Supreme on it, I believe. Supreme Playboy waffle knit. Eh. Just has the Playboy bunnies all over. Rib velour, nothing special. Sleeve, logo, waffle thermal, eh, it's okay. All right. Let's see. Okay, this is fire. Supreme Champion Color Block Jacket. Uh, I hope that they make it in different colorways. Let's see what colorways they come in. Wow, it's the Supreme Cut and Sew embroidered on the back as well. That's definitely going to be a sought out piece. We have the all in black. Wow, they're only doing two colorways. I wish I would have seen more colorways. I think the multicolor will definitely go faster than the all black though. Then we have the Supreme Champion Sherpa lined. 
the big champion logo right there, Supreme on the hood, and then obviously Sherpa fleece on the inside, which means it's going to be super warm. Big, big champion logo on the back, and then Supreme. Comes in black. Brown. Brown and navy. That's such a weird color combo. You thought that would be like brown and white. This green is nice though. This forest green. That's definitely going to stop uh, fast. And then we have this light pink with navy. And then navy with white. And last but not least is going to be accessories. We have 40 accessories. So if you guys have any questions... Type them in now. As soon as I finish with the accessories, I will answer your questions. Then I'll be ending the live stream. Again, this video will be posted on my – on. Uh, see, this is what sucks about live stream. I like mess up. This video will be posted on my videos as soon as I'm done so you guys can watch it back or like skip back and forth. So we have a Supreme Fender Stratocaster. Now, I'm kind of curious what this guitar is going to retail for. I believe – a uh, Supreme, or not a Supreme, I believe a Fender Stratocaster goes for a few hundred dollars by itself, but I'm curious if Supreme is going to tap on a huge uh, price tag on this, make it like a thousand dollars plus. I wonder if they're going to do different colorways. Oh, wow, look at that case. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a thousand dollar plus guitar, especially with that Supreme case. This is definitely going to sell out, it's going to be a collector's item. So if you guys would want to try to get this piece, I would definitely try to get it because it is definitely going to be sought out for. I think the accessories is probably one of the best things that they've done. So this is probably going to be overrated, over expensive, very, very expensive, which is not going to be worth it. But we have the Supreme with the F-U-C-K all over. Cash paperweight. So this is a paperweight like a glass brick that has money supposedly money stacked in it with supreme band on it again that's basically like buying a brick supreme puts it on it they sell it this is going to be very expensive if you guys don't know anything about the supreme uh everlast collab those boxing gloves go for like ten thousand dollars so i could definitely see this going for at least a thousand dollars uh i'm gonna try to get this if i can get this i am definitely gonna rock this at a sneaker con and depending, no, I'm not going to pay a resale because I know resale is going to be on this. is stupid. But this is definitely one of my favorite pieces. I love the Cheetah. I love the Supreme on the big. And it's probably really comfortable. Ooh, they have red. Wow. That's definitely going to be a hyped piece for sure. Then we have the exercise mat, which I think is sick again. The accessories that they're doing this season is really nice and really creative. The Everlast Folding Exercise Mat. We have the Wool Blanket. The $100 Bill Gold Pendant 14 K Gold Diamond Cut Pendant with 24 inch 14 karat gold chain. I think that's pretty sick. This is going to be, again, a very, very hype beast, very expensive thing to buy because you know how many barbers are our hype beasts that wear supreme that is going to want this to cut people's hair and you know that they're going to charge people probably more just because they're cutting your hair with a supreme blade but this will probably retail probably for a hundred dollars and i can see it reselling for 350 supreme wireless speaker this is probably gonna be another expensive thing The collapsible shovel. This is something sick. You should bring it to like your beach or whatever you want to do. Another thing, like Supreme is just crazy with their accessories. Chopsticks, like come on, who, who's going to cop that? But hey, you know it's going to sell out and you know people are going to want it. Saki set, which is sick. If you guys don't like sake, don't worry. You can put maybe milk in it or tea or whatever you want it, but that sake is pretty sick. The ceramic ashtray, that might be a cop. The Supreme Tough Mug, 12 hours of hot or 24 hours of cold. That's going to be useful. I would probably cop that for personal for sure. 
Then we have the Mophie. Okay, again, they're doing two different sizes though. They're doing the 10K and then the 20K, which that 20K looks huge. I can't imagine walking around with that. The lockbox, that's sick. Supreme safety sack, money is always most important. Thousand percent true. Supreme Nike shooting sleeve. Damn, that's fire. I wonder if anyone in the NBA is going to cop that to actually wear. Fake snakeskin belt. There's a welcome mat. Wow, I need to cop this. Supreme, there is nothing wrong. There is nothing worth here dying for with the gun. Wow, I definitely need that for my new apartment. That is a definitely must cop for me. Wow, I didn't think they were doing this, but they're doing the Hanes Real Tree Tagless T. That's kind of funny. Again, I'm going to show you guys how you can cop Real Tree camo for literally dirt cheap. Matching boxers, of course. Anything for money. This I need to cop for skiing. The Arabic logo neoprene face mask. That's going to be a duffel cop for me, or at least I'm going to try to cop it. Probably going to try to get the acid green. Again, perfect for Colorado. Go skiing, go snowboarding. The logo scarf. I'm not really a biggest scarf guy. The shit bandana. Diamond cut Zippo. I'm definitely going to try to get this. I've always missed out on the iridescent Zippos. I'm not really a big fan of it, but these are really nice. The diamond cut has, has that raise and the Supreme Bogo. Mini mag light flashlight. Supreme white carry. That's kind of cool. A knife. A sled. Wow. A heavyweight plastic snow sled. That's... That's crazy. I wish I lived somewhere where I could use that. Maybe I'll try to cop it and I'll use it at the beach. That'd be a good video. Inflatable blint. I'm definitely going to try... Blint. Blimp. I'm definitely going to try to cop this. This is a essential hype beast thing for somebody's room. You can easily hang it. In my videos, I can hang it on the back. That'd be definitely sick as like a background piece. Of course, they did this. Pledge allegiance to shit United States America. F the president. See you in hell. It's a coffin keychain with a trap door and cigarette. Wow, it's a cigarette holder ashtray. That's pretty sick. That's actually really sick. Another thing I'm going to try to cop is a handcuff keychain. And that one's kind of plain. Then boss keychain. Not bad. And then, of course, they're doing the blood and semen skateboard. I actually like the skateboard a lot better than the actual blood and semen outfits to wear, but that's just my personal thing. And then last but not least, we have the Gonzalez skateboard. And unfortunately, I think that's all we have. We covered how long have we been streaming for? We've been streaming for... How long has it been? We've been streaming for an hour, so that wraps up the Supreme 2017 Fall Winter on every single item that is going to be dropping. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, if you're going to be copying, if you guys agree with what I was saying, if you disagree with what I'm saying. I think this season is definitely really good, especially with the assessors that they have. I'm going to definitely be copying, so make sure you guys subscribe because I will be copying Supreme throughout this season. Like this video, smash this like button. Let's get this to 200 likes. Check out my, oh man, uh, favorite piece. Oh, okay, that's the only question we have, favorite piece. Uh, to be honest, my favorite piece has to be probably the Supreme Scarface. This leather jacket is absolutely insane. I'm not gonna cop it, it's gonna be very expensive. Maybe I try to cop to resell, cause I would never wear this, but that is just definitely one of my favorites. But I am going to finish my live stream now. This video should be up on my videos after, after a process. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. A thrifting vlog will be up Wednesday. Make sure you guys check link down below for all my vintage website. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it.